Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's continue with our Math 1105 final exam review. Question number 14. If I ask you to discuss the concept of symmetry, there were basically three types of symmetry we considered in our class. We talked about a graph being symmetric with respect to the x-axis, symmetric with respect to the y-axis, or symmetric with respect to the origin. Sometimes it's not symmetric with respect to anything, but if there was going to be symmetry, it would be one of those three and sometimes a combo. Let's check this out. If I took if I took a piece of graph paper and I drew the basic parabola y equals x squared this is just one example of many. But if I pictured the basic parabola y equals x squared, this graph would be symmetric with respect to the y-axis. And the reason is, basically in generic terms, or, you know, just general terms, the y-axis kind of splits it sort of in half. See? Kind of goes right down the middle of it is a real good way to see it. If I picked a point here and I walked to the y-axis and then I continued walking the same distance, I'd find a buddy over here on the graph. So this graph, y equals x squared, shows symmetry with respect to the y-axis. Now, if I look at another graph, let's say I take a parabola that's not a function. This particular graph is symmetric with respect to the x-axis. And the reason it's symmetric with respect to the x-axis is the x-axis basically cuts it in half. If I pick a point up here, and I walk to the x-axis, and then I continue walking the same distance away from it in the other direction, I find a buddy. Okay, and my final example for symmetry, suppose I consider the reciprocal function. If you remember what that is, that's the function y equals 1 over x. Okay, that's called the reciprocal function. If I draw it, we have one branch in quadrant 1, we have another branch in quadrant 3, and of course I do have horizontal and vertical asymptotes here. The biggest thing I want you to focus on here is not so much the asymptotes, but I want you to focus on the fact that this graph is symmetric with respect to the origin. And the reason, if I picked a point in quadrant 3 and I went directly to the origin, and then I walk the same distance from the origin diagonally away from it, I would come up with a buddy on the other side of the graph. Okay, so that's sort of a visual way of detecting symmetry. So we can have symmetry with, if symmetry exists at all, we can have symmetry with respect to the y-axis. We can have symmetry with respect to the x-axis. We can have symmetry with respect to the origin.